In this video, we'll see what is the impact of test run. Whenever you execute a test case, a separate test run will be created into test runs tab. Now, suppose if a test run has passed, if you go back to the releases or the cycles, the status would be shown as pass. If this particular test case is attached to your requirements and in this test run it is passed and if you go back to the requirements, the status of the requirement will show as pass and same applies to the test set. Let us see practically what is the impact of this test run on releases, test sets and the requirements. So now let me show you what is the impact when I execute a particular test case. Many people have asked me why do we use this uh, HP ALM. If we have to manually execute the test case in this HP LM, why not go for the Excel file? Why not go for the Word document where it is the same thing? I write the test cases, test scripts and I execute it. Why do we need to go for HP LM? HP ALM or HP QC is not a testing tool. Very first thing, it is a, just a test management tool. It will manage all the documents, whatever you, you know, separately create into your SDLC or STLC that can be managed into your HP ALM. Now I'll just show you a demo where you can understand why people go for HPLM rather than going for the Excel file or Word file and executing the test case. Working on Excel file and Word file, it's very difficult to connect or you can say collaborate with different documents. Like for example, if I execute a test case, if I write a test case that will be written in the Excel file. If I write a requirement that will be written in the Word document. Now if I want to merge them, if I want to connect a link, or if I want to put a hyperlink, it is very difficult using these two different documents, Excel and Word. So HP ALM does this task very easily. Now I'll show you this one. If you remember, I've just executed a login test case and it has shown as passed. If I click on this lab and this was the login test case, which was passed here. Now this login test case, it belongs to some other requirement. What is the requirement? If I go to this test plan, if I select this login test case, and if I go to requirement coverage, it belongs to this login requirement. And if you see, that's a login requirement. Now, any test case which is attached to this particular requirement should change the status right now because right now I've executed and the status was given as pass. So where should I go? I'll go to this requirements. And if you observe, I'm on the current uh, requirement that is login and the status is given as no run. But right now I have executed this test case and the result was given as pass by me itself. So I just need to click on this refresh button. And if you see the coverage analysis, the graph will change here. The graph will change. I'll click on refresh. And now if you observe login test, the requirement has been passed. And if you see here, it says in the coverage analysis, total nine test uh, requirements were there. And there's only one requirement which has been passed. Let us try to understand if I maximize nine requirements has test cases with no run status. One requirement has a test case with pass status. So why I'm getting nine and one here because I'm working, I've just seen the folder. So the entire results will be shown on this particular folder itself. Same way, if you go to this test plan and uh, if you observe here in this place, in the login place, I am connected to this particular requirement that is nothing but login. Suppose if I have multiple requirements here in this login test case, one test case can belong to multiple requirements. That is for sure. So all the status, all the changes will be reflected in the requirements and whichever test case is attached to this particular requirement that the status of that requirement will change here, right? So this is why uh, people go for HPLM rather than going for manual testing like uh, in the manual testing documents like Excel, Word or any other document. So here the best part is linking part. You can link any document with any document. The only thing is you need to properly link it, execute it and keep on refreshing so the data would be reflected. Right. So I hope you have understood how to see the changes reflected after you execute the test case and those changes will be reflected in the requirements menu bar. I hope you have understood and that's all for this video.